the idea for Desert Notes was in part inspired just by the nature of how I paint, which is to go out and into the landscape, look around, take my kid out with me, and uh, make notes, essentially. The other part of it is a book that I came back to. It sat on my shelf for 30 years called Desert Notes by Barry Lopez. And this book, there's a passage, a couple of passages in this book that really resonate with with how I approach the desert and painting outdoors in general and how I find inspiration. And so coming back to that book again after 30 years, it just really seemed to click. San Rafael Rhythms. A little way west of Green River, Utah, is one of the most amazing rock formations in the state, the San Rafael Reef. This starkly uplifted ridge of sandstone stretches north and south for over 100 miles, and it is thoroughly riven by cracks, slot canyons, and other small surface details. It catches the first light of day in a spectacular fashion. I-70 happens to pass through this giant wall of stone, so whenever I journey west on that highway, I make some time to stop and explore a little. On this particular day, I was fortunate to catch the reef just at dawn, and I was amazed by the play of shadows across this fractured surface. Beauty is where you find it. I happened across this view while on a walk in Wentworth Wash in Catalina State Park. The wash had a very healthy stream flow running in it, and as I was navigating upstream in search of another spot to view another potential subject, I happened to turn around and see this group of rocks with the sun playing across them. Almost all my work these days is a result of these kinds of happenstance moments, accidental discoveries, things I had not deliberately set out to find. I kind of like it that way. You never know where you will find beauty, and when you do, it's always a very pleasant surprise. Winter's Grace. The Grand Valley of Colorado is a place of remarkable beauty and stunning vistas. And there are times each winter when we experience temperature inversions with cold air settling down in the valley and becoming very still. Under these conditions, the Colorado River steams as it's warmer than the ambient air. And the result is a persistent fog that obscures the big vistas and reduces the landscape of the valley to simple shapes and elements creating opportunities for the intrepid and cold tolerant painter to enjoy and capture rare effects of light and atmosphere. This is one of the most beautiful winter sunrises I've ever seen here, and I have never seen anything like it since. A moment of sublime grace and compelling evidence that even seemingly harsh or dull weather can produce amazing effects of light. Uplifted. The Entrada and Wingate Sandstone Cliffs of Colorado National Monument in Western Colorado comprise the northern periphery of a massive uplifted area called the Uncompagre Plateau. And evidence of that uplift can still be found here in places such as this. This formation sits at the mouth of Monument Canyon and clearly shows how the layers of sandstone bent and contorted under the pressure that pushed the plateau upwards over millions of years. It also happens to catch the light of winter sunsets in just such a way as to dramatically lift the spirits of intrepid landscape painters who brave the cold to go out and enjoy it. Snowy Morning Book Cliffs I usually never miss a chance to go out to the book cliffs, which lie a few miles northeast of my home in Grand Junction, especially after a good snow. Under ordinary conditions, these formations are a very muted buff gray color. But in wintertime, with a coat of snow, they become extraordinarily colorful. Shadows take on a whole range of blues and violets, and the snow bounces light up into them. The buff-colored cliffs suddenly seem much more colorful next to the pure white snow, and the fascinating topography of these eroded formations takes on a whole new aspect in the sharp contrast between the brightly lit snow and the blue shadows. So like the book Desert Notes, the show is a culmination of several different journeys throughout the Southwest. And like the book, the Desert Southwest is something I find compelling, fascinating, and endlessly beautiful. I get that same sensation of wonder and appreciation each time I go out. The sense of being in the presence of a great thing, whether it's towering saguaros on a spring morning in Tucson or a winter evening in my backyard of Colorado National Monument. So it's my hope that in presenting this cross-section of views from across the West that you'll also enjoy 
some of that same sensation of wonder.